On top of everything else, I'm pretty sure this vehicle is also amphibious. Is it amphibious? Yes. I love how you can still clearly see the wheels turning and like spinning. Wow, this thing is very responsive in the water, actually. Very responsive. Look how quickly it brakes and accelerates. That feels like it's dialed up a wee bit too much. That's ridiculous. Oh no. <laughs> I'm done. I'm out. That's too much. <laughs> Good afternoon, you wee bastards, and welcome back to War Thunder with Koala. And if you didn't see the last video, yes, I did get a new microphone, and holy nuts am I happy with how it sounds. The boom arm for the microphone should be arriving today as well, so hopefully this is the last time I'll have to be holding the microphone while I try to make a video. So in light of that, we need to play something easy today, so let's pick something broken overpowered. Mmm, nope, this is now 2017. Mmm, close but not quite. Oh, now this... Mm, no, I think aircraft are beyond my limits right now. Oh, fucking perfect. So this is the most overpowered vehicle I can think of, the Italian R3 T20 anti-aircraft car, developed in the 1980s. That's right, this thing is younger than an Abrams. And yet it fights with KV-1s and Panzer 3s. Yeah, Gaijin, what are you playing at? Why is this thing still 3.7? God, it used to be 3.3, didn't it? <laughs> so with this tank, we have one obvious advantage. Speed. This thing goes 100 kilometers an hour. Over. Beyond that, it's basically your average 20mm AA gun, right? Right. WRONG! Not only does this gun have more than twice the fire rate of the Rubblewind... Jesus, is that more than a Gepard? Holy shit, it has the fire rate of a Shilka. Yep, only the Vads and the Tunguska beat this thing in fire rate. But this also has a way higher muzzle velocity than, for example, a Verbalvind, making it much easier to aim. So, even though it's only one gun, with more than twice the fire rate and a better muzzle velocity, when you do hit with it, you're actually likely to hit with more rounds than the Verbalvind's four guns. We have slightly less penetration than a verbal, significantly more pen than the Crusader Mark II at the same battle rating. Oh, and we have a two-plane stabilizer. That's right, on top of all that, this gun has a stabilizer that is about as effective as a Roycat or Centauro. It's not like a Sherman stabilizer at this kind of BR. This thing works up to around 70 km per hour. And we will hit 70 km per hour. So, we're more than twice as fast as a Rubblevent, or Crusader, with more than twice the fire rate, much better muzzle velocity, penetration that's in between the two, and a stabiliser. And Gaijin looks at this and goes, hmm, what's that? It has no armour! <laughs> because armour definitely matters to an AA vehicle, doesn't it, Gaijin? A for effort, but yeah, no, this thing is overpowered. So today we're going to go play out this thing. Now, we're not going to just rush caps. You guys all know how insanely good this thing is at just cap rushing. Anyone can do that in this tank. Die, jump into an aircraft, rinse and repeat. Instead, let's actually have a little fun in this thing. And at the end, I'm going to give my opinion on what BR this thing should actually be. Also, lads, there's new merchandise in the store. So if you want to go check it out, RAF Rondale, Spitfire, it's a shame I couldn't have an 8 for VE day, but I'm really, really happy with how this turned out, so go grab yourself a mug or a shirt or something. I think the important thing to say, which I didn't say in the intro, is this thing is definitely overpowered against aircraft as well. Like, even if this was just a static AA gun or, or a regular slow AA vehicle with a decent amount of protection, not that any AA vehicle has that, but it would still be too good for- oh my goodness. Hello. She's just keep firing. <laughs> Alright, there's target number one down. But we will fight a maximum of like, what, P-51Ds? su 6s Can we fight them? This thing is too good. It's better than a verbal vent, it's better than a Crusader, it's way better than like a ZSU-37 or something like that. Alright, just checking our aim corners. I think we'll go in here. Our team's capturing Alpha, which is kind of a problem at the moment. Oh, scheisse. What is that? Oh, oh, come down, come down! <laughs> and just like that, right. That was kind of lucky though, because I'm pretty sure even 7.62s can penetrate this thing from the side. Not from the back though. 
god, it would be so easy to just spawn camp in this vehicle. Like, I'm basically there already. And this is a big map, too. And I could have been there so much quicker than this. There's something in there. But, like, we were killing light tanks, and almost any AA vehicle can do that, but... Most AA vehicles at this tier don't have 100 kilometers per hour on their side and a two-plane stabilizer, do they? Where are you, you cheeky? There he is. Oh shit, is that an Achilles? Or a Wolverine? Alright, we're going to hold here for a second. That tank destroyer is somewhere back there. It doesn't look like he's coming out for me. But our team did just absolutely get cleaned up in this area, so there are definitely a couple of tanks over here. We don't want to get jumped. No, nothing out there. We're going to push across. Nothing behind us. Doesn't look like it. Right, let's go right around. Let's be safe. You still do have to be careful on this thing, because... Well, as long as you're not fighting the Russians, there's not really a whole lot that you can't penetrate. A T-34 or a KV-1 give you some trouble, but everything else is fair game. Oh, Churchill, I guess. M3 Lee, kind of. Beyond that, we should be good. Alright, where are you? I can hear something. Oh, hello. There you are. That's that M10 from earlier. God, look at us just chew right through his crew members. Is this gun still up? Oh, yikes, it was as well. Oh, there's something else off to the side. Let's kill this M10 first. On the reload. Ah, you can't swing your turret around quickly enough, can you? <laughs> ah, that drive-by. And now, let's make sure they don't they know where we're going to be coming from. What was out there to the side? Well, you know what? We'll go around the side and then we'll clean them up. See guys, on maps like this, never go for the enemy cap first, unless the entire team is doing it, because if you don't, you're just going to die, and then you hand them a whole bunch of easy spawn points when they recapture their own zone, which is going to be very, very easy for them. Oh, hello. What was it? Did he see us? Yes, he did! <laughs> it's a Sherman. Easy. Easy kills all day long. Oh, might actually have to use this thing as an anti-aircraft vehicle after all. Artillery is very scary in this thing, though. Oh! Oh, Lord, that's a problem. That's that's a threat. That's a KV-1. Nothing I can do to him. Hello, where are you, though? SU-85? That's an easy kill. Mince meat time. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's so easy, I haven't even stopped driving yet. <laughs> you got a stabilizer, you got this fire rate, and you've got enough penetration to go through most things you face. Unless it's a T-34. Yep, that's the KV-1. Store his aim off, there we go. And we're safe. Oh. Where's he? You know what, let's not draw attention to ourselves when we're here in this town. That's a bit dangerous because none of the firing arcs. Oh no, oh no! <laughs> that's my fault. Whoa! Okay, so we just capped Alpha. Let's see if we can get out of here. Where are they coming from? I think I see him attack KV-1 over there. Oh! <laughs> I'm dodging these rounds. Don't tell me I'm going to crash into a Panzer three or something. Where are you? Oh! <laughs> that is terrifying! Dude! <laughs> Do, 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 don't mind me, Panzer IV. He's going to zip through you here. So we've captured two zones now. Let's see if we can head over to Charlie. Hello, I see something over there. There he is. Does he see me? Nope. Boo! Oh, that's a shame. Not enough right there. But there we go, okay. Ah! I saw him, I was hoping he wouldn't be able to catch us. Nope, 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 that's alright. It's VE day, you're rushing, you go first. Oh, D stop, stop! 
Dude, calm down. Stop. <laughs> what are you doing, you moron? Yeah, we're not going to be using our speed quite so much this game. Stop it! All right, now we have escaped from the cuff dropping the Crusader, and that's, that's cost us quite a bit of time. For this vehicle, at least. We may not be first to the cap. We are still find the Russians, though. There he is, this guy. When you're ramming into someone, stop driving forward. <laughs> wow, this cap zone is really small. Oh, 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 oh. So that's what I was worried about. T-34. Not much I can do to him if he's ready for me. It's only if you catch him by surprise. Let's just keep around him. Is he following us? Yep, there he is. Let's play ring a ring a rosy with him. That's it. Keep looking for me. Actually, let's go back behind here. Shh. Did, did he see me? <laughs> you dumbass. Hello there. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, that tracks. So I've got a question for you. If I got a designer to do me, like, a Starry Night background with the R3 with the Nyan Cat rainbows coming out of its ass, I'm putting that on a t-shirt. Would you buy it? Oh my god, this is some serious speed now. Our stabilizer's barely gonna be- Yep, yeah, no, it turns off at 90 kilometers- Oh my goodness, that's a KV-1. Never mind! <laughs> that is not our first target. <laughs> this is ridiculous! I'm in their spawn already! Ooh, there's a T-34 over there. I can't penetrate him from this angle. And this range, I can't penetrate from this range anyway. Oh, you I can, on the other hand. Through your turret. That's his commander, his gunner's still up. Get your driver, and... Boom. Anti-air vehicle! <laughs> yeah, sure. Ooh. Oh. Shh. Uh, we can't penetrate that guy. Anywhere. So, we're going to... Just back her up. Back her up. Ah, uh, that's better. It's got artillery on it. They are heading into the cap. We have no tanks left in there, unfortunately. Oh, there's another T-34 over there. Uh, we are just gonna play the avoiding game. How to not be seen. Rule one. Don't fucking shoot. Alright, now let's see if there's anyone over here. I don't want to get too close to the enemy spawn. I don't want to just spawn camp in this thing. Oh, can I not get around here? Oh, I can. Hello. Hello. What is that? Is that, uh... Ram? Oh, whatever it is. I can penetrate them. Loader. No gunner. Ah, oh, shit. Can't catch me. Can't catch me. Crap. Still can't catch me. <laughs> he can't do anything about it. He's doomed. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's the Chinese shaman. Alright, now let's see if we can go and do anything. That's another T-34. There's so many of them. That's the only reason this thing isn't completely obviously overpowered. As if it wasn't obvious enough. It's not doing amazingly. Like, it's it's not as overpowered as you think it would be on paper. Because it keeps fighting T-34s, which it basically cannot touch. Like, half of the Russian tanks that you fight are just untouchable. Right, now... He would have seen me, but at least we're calling them out for our team. Nah, it looks like he did kill that teammate anyway. Now, did he... Was he paying attention? Did he know where I'm... I see him. Oh, there's another one as well. Jesus Christ, how many T-34s are at this tier? It's just... It's half the team. No, nothing. Can't they penetrate them? Even from the back of the turret. You're basically useless against them. And KV-1's even worse. Did he see me? He's got to see me. Hello. Hi. Did you see me? I'm not doing a very good job of hiding, am I? F I don't know. It's tough to work out. If I poke out at the wrong time, I'm... D oh, hello. No, that's very, very dangerous. Goodbye. Please leave me alone. 50 cals. Very scary. 
Son of a bitch. Now, I know what you're thinking. But, Koala, there's no capture point over here. It's not domination. It's whatever this game mode's called. But, nah, I'm too close to spawn camping. No, forget what I was going to say. We're not spawn camping. Jesus Christ. Get, get your hands on the wheel and off the lasagna, please. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, no. You chose the wrong spawn, lad. Sorry. Your game's over. <laughs> not fair. Um, yeah, I, I feel dirty. We're going into the map, please. Oh, kill me. Just kill me. I feel bad. Oh, hello. Bad feeling over. Player 3 has entered the battle. <laughs> and Player 3 has left the battle. Alright, now I think we're going to go help our team. They're kind of... Jeez, they are dropping like flies. Alright, I can hear someone off to my right. Someone's getting called out behind me. There's a guy coming out of spawn. <laughs> I don't even want to kill him. Feel too dirty. Alright, we're gonna... Looks like our team's got the cap secured. We're gonna go see what's behind us. I didn't clear this forest. I just scuttered around it, but... My god, you can clear areas on the map so quickly. It's just like a checkbox of, okay, I've cleared this area and move on to the next one. And then you're so fast. You just head back. If anyone needs your help, you're there. Boom. I don't want to kill guys coming out of spawn. Let's let them enjoy War Thunder for a wee bit. But anyone over here, I think, is kind of fair game. Like this guy. What is that? That's a... That's a T-34 over there. Uh, that's a T-28? Yes. Mess me, mess me. Now you got... Um, uh, uh, no homo. <laughs> With that shot. Come on! Penetrate him! <laughs> Stay away from his gun! Ah! <laughs> okay, just run! Just fucking run! <laughs> ah! <laughs> you can't touch us, we're too fast! Oh, there he goes, Stuka! Thank you! Thank you, Matt. Perfect teamwork. Oh. Never mind. Uh, that's friendly. Is it? Might not be. No, it's not. That's an aisle two. <laughs> Alright, there's a crit. Another hit. See, it's so easy to aim. Barely any lead, and there he goes. It's so easy. It's so much easier than leading a rubble wind. And hell, the damn crusader at this tier. I mean, it's got a decent round, but... It doesn't go 100 kph. It's not stabilized. It has less than half the fire rate. Yeah, that's friendly. Alright, let's go over into the camp, shall we? Got plenty of teammates around. Ooh, that was a big explosion. Something over there. That's in their spawn. I'm not going for it. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I don't want to ruin this game. What are you? That's a Zestari. I can kill you. Oh, and the SPAA is a better tank destroyer than the freaking tank destroyers. <laughs> That's going to be another T-34. And he's dead. I suppose it is historical that everyone and their grandmother has a fucking T-34 in this game. Speaking of which, there's one uh, on sale, if you want to pick it up. I don't have a uh, uh, affiliate link yet. I will, but I'm not I'm not even trying to be care. Uh, that, uh, don't see me, don't see me, don't you do see me, you cheeky. Ha! <clears throat> yeah, um, oh my god, there's another one. You, oh, you had to I just spot you guys. That That's that M3 lead dead. Yeah, I'm not even attempting to be careful at the moment. Just kill me. How are you, how am I not dead? End me. <laughs> Another one. 
God, that was really trying. I, I could have gotten three more kills easily. What are you? Oh. Hey, they finally woke up. <laughs> I'm done. I'm out. That's, that's enough for me. So, what battle rating do I think the R3 T20 should actually be in order to be balanced? Well, honestly, it's closer to the performance of a Falcon than it is to that of a Soki, say. So, it's a struggle not to say it should be like 6.3 or somewhere up there. But I think that's a wee bit too significant of a move because, of course, it does only have a single 20mm gun. And at the end of the day, it is no Falcon. But I think for now, we should be moving this thing up to 5.0. That puts it at around the BR of something like the M19, which can also be killed by machine guns. Once again, guys, remember, time frame does not matter in War Thunder. We don't want the AMX-30B going up against T-64As, and we certainly do not want the F4 Phantom supporting M48 patterns at 7.3, do we? The R3 is substantially better at killing aircraft than the M19, or even the M42 is, given that it's the same weapon system. But those two have big old 40 mil guns that can rip right through most of the medium tanks they face. The R3 cannot at that tier. It's going to lose its tank killing functionality. In my opinion, that is good though, because the thing goes 100 kilometers an hour and has a full stabilizer and the fire rate of a Shilka. We don't want it to be Ostvin level of tank killer on top of that, so move it up to the sort of BR where it really is only suitable as an SPAA but it's still very, very effective in that role. I don't think it should fight jets in regular matchmaking. It is still worth bringing up in battle rating until you get to the Sedam, but that's more of an optional thing for your lineups, and not the tier it should be made to fight at. Anyway lads, I hope you have enjoyed this video. This thing is a lot of fun, and until it does get moved up, make the most of the meme machine that this thing is. And actually, the more people use this thing to rush caps and then meme all over tanks at its tier, the more likely it is to get moved up to a proper BR. So go, go, what are you waiting for? Once again, please go check out our new merchandise. I am going to be migrating the merch store over from Teespring to Stream Element store soon, but for now, go grab something from the Quality store on Teespring at the link below. I hope you guys are able to get them shipped without complications given how fucking crazy shipping is right now. Make sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe and hit that bell icon, join the 360 squad, and make sure to let me know your thoughts on what I said here. What BR do you think the R3 should fight at? Leave a comment below. Come follow me on social media, going to be returning to regular live streaming on Twitch, hopefully when the next War Thunder Dead server comes out. And as always, keep a whiskey at hand, keep your kilt on, and I'll catch you in the next one. I see a wee thank you to these lads for supporting the channel on Patreon. Honoré Gusan, Ian Anderson, Bluefeet, Mo, Roskill, Bias Remover, Metallic Rain, Charts152, Crescent, Captain Fubar, Brett Lander, Seagull Nuts, DA261, Latvian Wolf, Gisley Gadarsson, and Dark Recon, you lads are brawl. If you want to join them, then check out Patreon at the link in the description below. 